Yes, if not, I want my mother ever to be. You know what to do, then. Thank you, I do. Thank you, too. <laughs> really? I'm the answer. It's lovely to see that Lily's homemade ravioli keeps a little bit of Italy alive in bed for her and her family. Unlike the other recipes I've seen in the last few days, they've also helped bring a whole world of cooking to the rest of Britain. From pierogi to samosas, cacciari and ravioli, everything I've seen has been about packaging up not just flavours, but also memories and heritage. It made me think that I want to take a couple of ingredients that mean a lot to me and wrap them up inside, well, the pattern of the pasta. These excellent Stilton dumplings with red onion chutney take inspiration from my friend's recipes and use some of Britain's best ingredients. So I'm making a stuffing and I'm going to add the pizza cup because perhaps it's a bit of a I don't need that with the brown. I'm going to squeeze in a bit of lemon juice in. I'm going to have a habit of sticking to the pan, but I'm going to put in just a little drop of water. Put the lid on. Now, while the apple is up, I want to make a chutney. Put finely sliced red onion into a heavy pan with a squeeze of lemon and a dash of white wine vinegar to set the beautiful pink of the onions. Then just a teaspoon of sugar, a few cloves, and plant a stick of cinnamon. Keep that for 10 minutes. Now the apple doesn't take long. As soon as it's fluffy, put it in a bowl to cool it a bit. Now, instead of making my own dough, I've got some shop ball or butter pot pastries. When Liz put her pasta through that machine, it was really thin. Well, I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. It's something we've been so in Britain. The only thing about this is just a reconstruction of a plan and lunch. You've got the apple, you've got the cheese, you've got the bread, you've got some of the pastry. And the theory is exactly like my mum used to see at her pastry, with a finger and thumb. Terribly old fashioned, old food like doing it. Finally, a quick brush of egg, a hole in the top of each, and a scattering of peppermint and gelatin. Then, into the oven, 200 degrees, for 20 to 25 minutes. And there's lemon juice and vinegar in there, and a little bit of sugar. Just add a bit more sweetness, and it's all the juice that's on this. And it's going to leave those upon up to about 30 minutes. and apple dumplings, a bit of onion, a farm chutney. These pastas are a taste of Britain, old and new. A combination of flavours of my youth with a multicultural now. I can't be willing to share them. Hello, yeah, that looks amazing. Such a little pastas, wrapped up a bit of what they love. Jewish penicillin or chicken sticks to Jamaican spiky fish, sharing a sick refuge from around the world next week at the same time. 